Hi, it's John. Um, I'm just planting some sweet corn. Uh, I bought several packets, and this is the one I'm going to plant today. Um, there we go. It's uh, Unwin's Sweet Corn Super Sweet F1 Hybrid. Um, on the pack here it says packed year ending 12 14. 12th of, uh, so it's alright, it's in date, best before 2016. Approximate seeds 35. Well, there was only 28. I mean, that is bad. If I was selling stuff, I would always make sure there was more than what was said. I think I, I'm not sure, I might contact them to tell them there was only 28 seeds. Um, but one of the things I forgot to do, when you're in the shop and you're buying a packet of seeds and it says it's so just check, you can just check, you can feel how many there are and if it doesn't feel like there's 28 in there or, or if, you, if there's 35 in there, don't buy it, but I forgot to do that on this one. Um, whether they would send me another pack, I don't know. Anyway, I've got 28 and I've got these containers all fitted up with soil. It's just, uh, I'm not quite sure what soil it is, I just found it outside. Um, I don't think you need very special soil for sweet corn. Um, just the warmth really. Uh, I've got a pot, pot here to put any odd bits of stones and things I find. So I'm going to put one in each pot. Um, uh, and it says half an inch deep. Um, so this has got 12, so that's uh, popping them in. And what they need, they need warmth. So they need to be over 60 degrees to be um, to germinate. Um, that's the main thing they need. And then, of course, they need to be out in the best of the <coughs> summer weather. They need the sunshine, as the Kellogg's Corn Flakes advert says, they need a hundred days of sunshine. Well, sometimes we get a nice lot of sunshine and sometimes we don't. Um, but if you get a good year, you can get lots of sweet corn. And any surplus will be very useful for feeding the chickens, so that's my thinking. Last year I grew some sweet corn and, and just some odd bits of maize that I had about. But uh, I bought quite a lot of seeds this time, so it all, should all be sweet cornable, you know, edible. Because the maize can be a bit bitter or not sweet. It's, with sweet corn, it says you've got to plant plants about 15 inches apart. That's quite a lot. And, uh, and plant them in a block so they fertilise one another. And it also says that you shouldn't plant other sweet corn by it. So... Um, because you get cross pollination. I don't. Did that matter? Or, I don't know. Anyway, I'd love to see. I'm not quite sure whereabouts I'm going to plant it yet. But uh, it is a lovely thing to have in the garden because, well, you can just eat it and eat it, can't you? And children like it as well. So our niece will like it. She stays with us. And um, there we go. I can, if I do write to Unwinds about the only being 28 seeds, I can put a link in to this video. Um, I don't know whether that would prove that there were only 28. Well, I'm not going to, I'll just put, put this one in somewhere. But 
uh, that would prove something. Do you think I'm mean? Am I mean? I think it's a matter of principle. I mean, last year I bought some other unwind seeds, and there was uh, supposed to be about six swan neck gourds in the packet and seeds, and there was only two. And uh, I didn't send two of them. Then I sent two. Then I bought another packet, and there was about twelve in there. I mean, what it suggests to me is that their workers just aren't interested in getting the right amount of seeds in the packet, which doesn't sound very good to me. Anyway, that's got them in there. I've got them in, uh, so there's 12 in each, so I've got them in 24, so I may have doubled up the seeds a couple. There we go. Just hope that they grow. I think, I think within about 10 days they should be showing some signs. Oh, I think 10 days they definitely will be. Um, and I'll do an update then, won't I? Unwin's sweet corn. And if I do send to them, I'll be able to tell you what their response was. Okay, bye for now.